Hey everybody, I am back again to play with this multimeter, uh, the audio multimeter one from Steve Me Designs and my NS1s and my old ratty ass deck. And what I want to do today is I've got some pretty thick gauge wire here. Ah, there we go. So it's 8 gauge basically, speaker wire. And I'm going to get uh, some amperage and wattage numbers from my speaker wire at the amp. And I intentionally grabbed a pretty long ass cord or um, speaker wire here. Just to see, and I'll measure it over here, just to see if there's any like amperage attenuation across that long of a run. So you can kind of visually see if um, maybe you're losing a little bit of wattage if you have a long ass speaker wire and you maybe don't need it. Or if you do need it, you know, at least you can kind of see what's up. And for all I know, it could be completely wrong and there's no difference, but that's what we're here to test. So I'm going to put this on. So what I'll do is I'll just, it's going to be 20 hertz because that's fun. I'll go to the same volume and I'll do it a few times. We'll get some rough numbers. And if they're close enough, we'll call it the baseline. We'll do that with the wattage as well. And uh, we'll see what happens. But these are free air. Again, this is fun. Oh, I'll also do, um, I'll do an impedance rise. Because someone in my last video was interested in checking out the impedance rise even free air. So, um, let's actually... I don't know if I can get impedance right now. Yeah, it's, it doesn't know yet. Maybe a live power. I know. DC volts. Max AC volts and current. So I'll hit that a couple times. What do we do here? We'll go up to. I'll let that rest out for a minute. <clears throat> so this is, I don't know what volume this was. This was volume down one, 12. So if we get roughly the same number on a couple hits, we'll uh, check the impedance, then we'll check the wattage. Nah, the track. So based on that, what's that, 12 times 5 is it's not much watts. Let's just see what happens though. Impedance. Check this out, let's be cool. It's a dual 2 wide to 1. Pretty cool. So, just kind of bopping here in the garage, the coil and the gap, you know, it's uh, rising up to two and a half ohms. Now let's see what kind of power that was doing. Real time power. So, 52 watts, right? So that was, it was a 12 point something and five point something, which is roughly 60. So I'm sure there's a power factor in there that will take that down a little bit, but uh, I don't quite know how these things exactly work. But So we know that was 51 watts. Right here. Based on that, it's, you know, that should be 61 or two. Uh, so I don't know this power factor nonsense. Let's see exactly what this is all about. So we know all of our other variables now, right? We know our wattage, we know our rough voltage and amperage from my other tests. We can see what this is uh, going to do. And I have no idea what this, this setting does. <clears throat> oh, so that's telling me my efficiency.
I'm going to go up um, one, two volume clicks. We'll do the same thing. Buck 30. Buck 30. So 130 watts. Now that we know that. Let's go to the AC volts and current. So in theory, I don't know. It's going to need to be something around 145 or so um, total. So 14, 10, 16, 8, something in there. 16, 9. We'll see what happens. I'm talking top number and bottom. 16, 9. Let's see how close I am. So I know 20 times 7 is 140, right? Plus a little bit of odds and ends there. So that's roughly the number that it came up with on the uh, live power. And I'll do that again. So, so that's going to be roughly, what was it, 136? Ah. Ooh, okay. Whatever. So again, we know all of our variables here. Power factor, right? If anybody wants to put into words power factor, as far as it relates to this, if anybody's smart enough with this, put it in the comments because uh, I love learning about this stuff and if anybody else catches it and wants to learn too, it's awesome. So yeah, 2.7, 2.8. Move back to live power. One thirty one. We'll just hit the dyno. That should read the exact same thing. Cool, huh? Um go up to volume seventeen. I'm gonna bust that number out. Eight fifty two. Now let's watch this bad boy. Run that up. That's fun. Yeah. So we know we're at about eight hundred and fifty watts on that. I don't know, we're going to have uh, 45 and 20, maybe. 45 and 20? That's 900. <laughs> 40 times 24. <laughs> Not happening. But, uh, okay. So there we go. Let's do power factor. We'll do that again. I'll just stop that so we get the whole point there. All right, so um, I'm going to stop that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and just run that AMM1 out to this speaker wire here and just do that quick test. It's like 9 something here. I don't want to piss anybody off. This 20 hertz free air is kind of shaking everything a little bit. So I will be back in a minute. But I'm um, hoping, hoping you guys are getting some good info on you know, how these work. And I know I am. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back here. We got this thing juiced straight to the side of this. 
and it's on the far side of the connection. So we're gonna see kind of what the absolute extreme farthest point of the speaker wire is getting as far as amperage power from that same frequency and volume that I was doing just a second ago with what was it, 853 and nearly 40 volts and 24 and change amps, 27 for ohm. So I'm gonna rip this up a couple times here, run it up. Then I'll have to get going because I don't piss anybody off. Neighborhood. Let's see. Here we go. I'm curious though, one thing. Should it read 28, or does it read double that because it's only seeing half the load, or is it double the load? I don't know. It's dual two, so we'll see in a sec. It's three still. So that's interesting. I didn't change the volume. All I did was move the speaker wire. I'm not going to bring it back there, but, um, the volume 17? Yeah, the volume 17. Everything was the exact same as the other one. Let's see the test there. I'll be right back. I'm putting this back there because that surprised me. Actually, I'm going to put it right here next. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We'll see what I get. And then I'm going back there. Because I'm not changing no volume on this. Nothing. This is just this run of wire. It's the only variable that's changing. Be right back. All right, people. See what happens. Hmm. Interesting, huh? Only thing that changed was the connection. Etc. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to chew on that info for a minute, but I'll also do this. Let's do dyno. Oh. Okay. It's exa nearly exactly the same as over there. So I'm gonna actually go, see these, I'm gonna go here, which is, you know, four, four inches away from there. I'll be right back. We'll see if I get, you know, roughly the same wattage. I don't think I'm going to. We'll see. All right, let's see what's up. This thing just turned off. This is kind of crappy connections, but this is big ass wire, so I did the best I could. Mode. Well, we can find out real quick through this. Um, I'm just gonna prop that up with my knee. It's gonna pause in about one second, but that's all I'm gonna need for time, really. Half the amps. Hmm. 
if it truly is exactly half the amps, it's because it's on this side of the connection, maybe. You know, I don't know. Any engineer want to chime in on that? It's getting a little late, so I'm going to have to wrap this up. I won't be able to test my other speaker wire. Um, but this was neat. So, actually, let me do... <laughs> keep wanting to do more. Let's do a power run. So that was the same rough number as it was over here. So it's interesting. So actually, what I'll do is I'm gonna add add this wire to this to see if we get back to the same wattage and um, amper. Actually, it's the amperage that matters. The voltage doesn't change as you see. It's the amperage. So how much the how much. The speaker wire is pushing, you know, the current through the uh, through the speaker wire. It's really tough to analogize, but uh, that's going to be a great test. If I can get both those speaker wires through here, this should uh, this should, in theory, get us back up to the 850 watt range. Be right back. Okay, I'm back for the 800th time here with different tests. So I've got both speaker wires through so it's going to get all of the amperage I am eliminating my shoddy speaker terminal wiring job because now instead of losing amperage at the connection I should be able to you know measure all of it through this I'm keeping the um, the probes on the run that goes over to the other coil because as you saw the voltage doesn't really change it's the amperage that is affected so we're back to volume 17, track 20. Real time power. Let me see if I can move this. Somewhere where it's gonna stay. All right. So yeah, let's see what happens. I'm so smart, I really am. Oh, come on, I went over a track instead of to 20. All right, here we go. Well, it's made a fool of me, didn't it? That was like 400 watts. It was almost identical to just the run over to that one. See, I don't know why that happened. But I'm going to shut this down for now. Got more questions and answers. And uh, in a couple days, I'm hoping to meter these guys with one of these amps just to see if it's the baseline numbers. Hopefully I don't blow anything because recones aren't cheap. But uh, these are ZV318s with NSV2 coils, D1s, and red spider packs. I reconed all of them. Uh, I got four more to do. I'll just see what I do on this box. It's, it's like 11 cubes. Just peek around 47 or so. I'm hoping to get a 54 out of it, maybe a 55 with one amp. With four amps, I think I was doing 50 mid 56s, but I was having some problems with the amps, so I I shut that down. Um, but my peak in this van is 158.2 at the dash. I'm chasing a 160.9 with my buddy, uh, I'm the list of the loud at Exclusive Audio. My buddy John's got a wall of Neo Signature, uh, Neo Sig 15s, four of them. And, uh, I think he's got some Sundown 8Ks, the SFBs. So that's who I'm chasing, my little no wall. And I'm piecing out. We'll, uh, do some more testing. I'll try to figure out why that, uh, didn't read as well as I thought it did on that run. Putting all the wires in there. Something didn't seem right. Have a good one, guys.